Hi, I'm Laura Yale, one of the co-founders of Hover Girl Properties in Jacksonville, Florida. As a military tenant, there are times when it is appropriate for you to break your lease. Um, and we wanted to chat with Robert for some instances where that pertains. Yeah, absolutely. I think most service members are familiar with the Service Member Civil Relief Act, which states that in certain circumstances, you can terminate a lease agreement early. This includes a deployment or a permanent change of station that is outside the area. So for those of you that live here in Jacksonville, if you're moving from NAS Jacksonville to Naval Station Mayport, which is right down the road, probably not going to be applicable under the Service Member Civil Relief Act. But if you're moving out of state, um, certainly it's something that you have an option to use. Navy Legal Assistance can help you assert your rights under the Service Member Civil Relief Act. Although I'll say most uh, uh, homeowners and landlords here in Jacksonville are very familiar with the provisions contained in the law. One of the things that I would caution you against though is forging your orders simply to get out of a lease agreement. I'll tell you as a former active duty prosecutor, I came across this numerous times and it never ends well. Again, most homeowners here are former military. They recognize that uh, they have the ability to go to your command and present those orders to determine whether or not it's valid. And certainly forging orders is a violation of the Uniform Code of Military Justice Act. So that, that, that Service Member Civil Relief Act is there. It's a resource. Please take advantage of it. Make sure it's a valid uh, chain of station deployment. Yeah, I agree. That's a great tip. Thank you for that. And really, if you are a renter and you need to break your lease, reach out to your property manager. A lot of times the owner will work with you. And again, do not forge your orders. Please don't. <laughs>